This demonstration focuses on custom cross-section functionality available in the En-ROADS product line. Here you'll learn how to create custom cross-sections for special design situations. In this example, I have a horizontal alignment displayed along with proposed and existing storm structures. Let's begin by selecting Evaluation, Cross-Section, Create Cross-Section. In the general leaf, I have two surfaces turned on, an existing and design. Moving on to the Custom tab, in the general leaf, we have six different types of custom cross sections. We have station range, perpendicular, skewed, line string, network, and perpendicular structure. Let's first specify a station range. We use the start station pick button, data point, accept, and a stop station pick button, and then specify the interval of 50 feet with the left and right offset of 100. We'll add to add in the station rate to the custom cross sections. Select perpendicular. Zoom into an area. We have an existing driveway and we want to cut a cross section at the center line of the driveway. We'll use the station pick button. Snap to the middle of the driveway. Accept and we're going to use left and right offset of 100. We'll add that in. Moving on to skewed, we're going to cut a skewed cross section at the existing storm structure here. Zoom in station, pick button again. We'll snap to the end of our construction line. Accept. For the skew angle, this is an angle right of a perpendicular at 90 degrees. So we'll use our skew angle pick button snap to the end of our construction line, snap to the beginning of our construction line, and then snap to the end of the center line of our structure. This will give us a skew angle of 16 degrees, 13 minutes, and 17 seconds. We'll add this in. Next, we'll use line string. What line string will do is allow us to go out and select graphics in the drawing Add those in and cut bent cross sections. We'll data point inside the create cross section dialog. The graphics button will highlight. We'll select it and we'll add our line strings in. Moving on network, this will allow us to select a from and a to structure and cut cross sections along those structures. We'll zoom into a structure, data point, select the structure, again, to the two, and we're going to extend our axes 10 feet to either side to ensure that the structures will fit in the cross section grid. We'll add this one in, and finally, we'll do a perpendicular structure. What this is allows us to do is select a structure ID for a station. We'll data point, grab a structure, accept it, and add this one in. We'll then select apply data point out to create the cross sections. Let this process for a moment. Close the dialog and it's going to prompt us to save the custom cross sections. We can save these to an XSC file and then later import these. Select No, zoom in, and you can see we have planimetrics drawn with station indicators at every single cross section. Zoom into our cross sections and you can see we've cut our cross sections with structures in them. This concludes the demonstration on custom cross section.